All right, guys, I don't have a lot of time at all. But yesterday I was working on a video and it really clicked to me how much creativity is a part of become, being a YouTuber. And I just wanted to put on your radar that if you don't look at yourself as a creative person, you're gonna struggle with YouTube even more than you would normally if you did look at yourself as a creative person. If you want to live in a creative way, which will benefit everything in your life, be a better person in your family, be a better, uh, if you're starting a new business, do a better job of starting a new business. It, it'll, it's all the same. Everyone's idea is as valuable as mine. You know, we're all, we're all creators. I consider myself a creative entrepreneur. And, you know, I don't feel like I have that problem tapping into my creativity, but are you tapping into your creativity? Do you think about, okay, in what ways am I creative? Create, I used to think I could only be creative if I painted and do, did physical forms of art, what you would typically see in like a museum, sculptures, things like that. We all are artists. The question is, is are we a better artist today than we were yesterday? And are we doing everything we can to be the best artist we can be tomorrow? And it's, it's, uh, we're all art. We may not all be Da Vinci, but are, are we better than we were? And can we continue to become better and better and better? And it's an ongoing iterative process over the course of our lives. But YouTube is really an art form. I'm actually editing a video, the video I wanted to come out today, and it's a more of a heavy lift when it comes to editing this particular video. It's not just one of my turn on the camera, talk to the camera type of videos like this one right here. There's different pieces of B-roll. I'm telling more of a story, and I was editing. I'm like, oh, oh just feeling a little bit of pressure because I'm like, I wanted this video to come out today. But I just decided, instead of me rushing it, just do what I can with the time that I have and then I can finish editing it the way that I want to and put it out next week. It's okay. But I guess my point is like, this is an art form. Yeah, like editing that video and piecing together the different aspects of it to make a story for someone else to watch, that's no small feat. This is artistic nature here, being a YouTuber, doing this YouTuber thing and just going hand in hand with the fact that this is an art form and creativity and all those vibes, like you have to find ways to tap into your creative being. You, I know that I was created by the ultimate creator. I talk about it, usually the way I talk about it is greatness. And that's the way I thought of it my whole life was, my interest is in making something great, greatness, lasting greatness, timeless. And I came to realize recently, it's all an offering to God. And if you're making an offering to God, you're not thinking about, oh, what's the budget? Or I hope, I hope these, this segment of the audience is going to like it. We don't, we don't think like that. It's a higher vibration. We're making the best we can make to the best of our ability out of love and devotion. That's what it is. And there is no I'm changing it for someone else because it can't be better than this devotional act that we're doing. There is no higher, no higher form. You have it within you. Like if you just tap in deeply, you'll start to see, oh my gosh, I'm really super creative. I don't have a better way to put it, a fancy way to put it, but creativity, I don't know if you call that a skill or a way of being. It's a part of this thing here. It's a part of doing YouTube. I feel like for like true beginner creators, people coming on here, it could just be put out as, oh, you're becoming a content creator. Like content creator is this thing separate from being a creative person when they're really one in the same. You, if you decide to do YouTube, you are becoming someone that expresses themselves, their ideas, their philosophy through video, okay? Like editing, creating thumbnails. That, that was the video live stream I did last night was on designing thumbnails. All of that requires you to tap into a different part of your brain 
than what you may have been doing when you weren't doing content creation, you know? Think back to your childhood. When were you creative? What sparked your creativity when you were younger? And if you're having trouble coming up with those things, I don't even know what you could do to tap into that again, but like, you're gonna have to get out of your, your regular mundane routine in order to connect with yourself. Go out into nature. You're having a problem connecting with your, create, your creative self, you have to get out into nature. I'm talking about go for a real hike. Get as woodsy and naturey as possibly you possibly can given where you live. Um, sign up for some type of art related class. Maybe it is do a more physical traditional form of art as a date with someone, whether that's a significant other or maybe it's a friend. Like, I think becoming a really good YouTuber, becoming a really good content creator means that you know how to insert your own unique creativity into this particular art form. And in order to find your unique parts, your unique creativity, you have to go out and search for it and develop it and connect with it. It's through the doing these uh, these things that want to be that the universe wants to happen now comes through us, and if it if we don't do it, maybe someone else will do it. Have you ever had that experience where you have an idea for something and you don't do it, and then six months later you see that someone else has done it? Mm. It's not because they took your idea; it's that it's time for that, mm. and you can act on it or not. And if you see, and the the artists, the best artists are the ones who have the best antenna for this material that's available. It's coming through. You are a creative being. Yes, you're becoming a content creator. Yes, you may be a content creator right now, but like you have to learn. Have you ever been in a situation where things are tight, whether that be financially or like you're tight for time or something like that? Like, and you may say to yourself, well, I had to, I got to get crafty. I got to get creative with it. Like, YouTube will force you to get creative and don't fight that. Don't fight that. Don't put unnecessary resistance on who your creative being self coming, emerging and coming out to, coming up to the surface. Um, Never say you can't do it. Say I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet. And that's true with everything. It's like, there's nothing that you can't do. You may not have done it yet. We don't know if you can do it or not until you really practice and then you find out if you can do it or not or how well you can do it. Yeah. Creativity is beautiful. Creativity is is how creativity is how you remain authentic on this platform. No one could be a creative like you. You you are unique. You're your own self. Please, please, please tap into your creativity. Um, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.